Hello everyone, my name is Inferno Plus, and today I'm going to be discussing an incredible revelation regarding the lore of the entire Souls series. Throughout all of the Souls games, there is always some kind of hollowing affecting the characters of the world, where people slowly lose their minds and turn violent and insane. But oddly enough, there is another creature that is always affected by the same curse. A creature we all seem to overlook. Dogs. Indeed, dogs too are affected by the curse of the undead or the colorless fog, or even the blood moon. They also appear to be affected by the convolution of time in Dark Souls 3, as they will sometimes phase in and out of existence while pursuing you. But why is it that the only creatures that seem to be affected are humans and dogs? To figure that out, we must look at another mechanic of the Souls series, summoning. In every Souls game, there is a mechanic that allows players and NPCs to cross between worlds to either engage in cooperation or PvP. But people are not the only ones that do this. In Dark Souls 1, there is a summon sign in the Abyss of Ulusil that allows you to summon Sif to help you. Some of you might be thinking, well, isn't Sif a wolf, not a dog? Well, if you look at a normal English keyboard and move your fingers over one key from the home row and type Sif, and instead types dog. So is this just a coincidence that these game mechanics for players are also shared with dogs? Or is there a connection? To find the answer, we must look at one final bit of evidence. In Dark Souls 3, when you enter the boss fog for Lorien and Lothric for the first time, Lorien will speak to you. He calls you another dogged contender. Some may pass this off as being descriptive of your player's persistence. But, what if in some of these infinite timelines of the Soul series, the Ashen One coming to defeat the boss is actually a dog? Indeed, what if in every Souls game, there are timelines where the Chosen Undead is instead a chosen undog, a pupper of demons, a fetcher of the curse, a good doggy, or even an ashen wolf. All this evidence has been right here in front of us all of this time and none of us have ever put it together. In the Soul series, humans and dogs are the same. So thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have been enlightened today.